Oh, ladies and gentlemen, come gather round, come gather round, come gather around. Previously, I took a set of eight 15 by six cheapy winter steelies, cut them in sort of halves, and I made a set of four 15 by seven and a halves. Today, we're gonna blast them, paint them, make them look all pretty. Let's go! To get rid of all the cheap paint that's on those wheels and the rust and give it a good surface for the epoxy to stick, we're gonna blast all the wheels in there. Uh, I do a video somewhere on upgrades I've made to this that make it really quite well. I did pick up a recent little regulator to knock this down to about 50 or 60 PSI. My compressor's happier with that. I'm also going to be wearing a mask even though it's all in the cabinet because some stuff comes out and I don't want it to come into my lungs. So uh, safety first. This is the limit of the wheel size in here. So this is either a fresh sheet of plexiglass or glass. I don't remember. I know I had a couple extra sheets of plexi kicking around and I put one in, but it also got pretty, uh, pretty nasty in use. Uh, looking at the video now, the fact that I have my air blow off nozzle in one hand blowing the screen clean tells me it's plexiglass. The plexiglass uh, certainly creates a, or re receives quite the static charge, which makes it get pretty filthy pretty quick. Um, I believe after doing a couple of the other wheels I changed to glass but I had the pressure too high in the cabinet and it uh, has since obscured the glass and I'll need to get yet another sheet. Nevertheless it's kind of fun. Play some music, just have it blasting away, get lost in your thoughts. I don't show the back side, sorry. So we're going to use my favorite epoxy primer which looks like this. I'm sure there's others. I tried not to spill over the label. There's lots of others. This is just what I happen to use because I can get it locally and close to where I'm at. You mix that one-to-one -one with its activator and uh, it's a pretty skookum little epoxy primer. So these were hosed down with like a pre-paint cleaner and I'm just setting them into place into the screen window so you can see what's going to happen. We will epoxy primer them. And I believe I did these in stages. I think I painted the, or primered the fronts with two coats and then primered the back with two coats and then flipped it over. No, I primered the front and the hoop and then flipped them over, primered the back and then painted the back and then flipped them over and pri uh, painted the front then in black and then silver. It's, it was stages. It made sense to me. So I could have the epoxy primer cure, flip it over, paint or primer, and then paint the, the one side and then flip it back over. It was just kind of figure out how am I going to do this. Forgive my voice. I lost my voice for six whole days recently and I'm, I'm on the mend. So this is primer for the fronts and then I don't think I show flipping it over and priming the backside, but rest assured they did get primed and painted. In theory, this epoxy primer is not 100% UV resistant. Um, it is catalyzed, but whatever. The paint I'm using here is PPG's Dell Fleet. It's a fleet paint, high solids, high build. I like to think it's durable. I don't really have any clue. And I did about two or three coats of black. And then I've got three coats of silver. They had, um, my local supplier had two flavors of silver with one with a little bit more chunky metal flake in it. And this one, which is a little finer, a little bit classier. Sometimes I think I should have gone for the chunky, but this turned out okay. And a good solid three coats on the, on the silver here. I did not do a clear coat. I don't really care. And I neglected to show the masking. This is what they look like in their all sexy glory goodness. And then we're mooching off of the machines at work after hours and putting some wheels on. 
putting some tires on. These were the cheapest, reasonably sticky tires I could get there. Neato, Neo, uh, Neo Gen, I think. They were about 135 bucks Canadian each and a tread wear rating of 280, which should be a good compromise of grippy and longevity. You may have just noticed I rotated the tire, so the yellow, the yellow dot is by the valve stem. I'm a believer in airing out the tire once you've popped the bead on and letting it relax and then reinflate. Pumped her up to about 32 pounds and cap them and then we go over to the balancer in this case i'm using sticky weights because i don't really want to chip off the paint and uh took an ounce on one side an ounce and a quarter on the inside and for a set of wheels that were welded together that's not bad i'm not going to show the mounting and balancing of the remaining three tires if it's important to you Back up the video and watch it again three more times. Like, share, subscribe. And we got six inches of snow outside still. And while these are technically an all season, uh, I'm not going to be all seasoning them right now. We still have snow. It's Canada, eh? So I just put the wheels on to see what it looks like. I love how it really full, fills out the fenders right out to the back and uh, just a little bit of poke in the front. And uh, I'm really quite pleased with how this looks. Uh, they all balance pretty decent. We're going to see how they ride in spring. But uh, until winter's gone, this is how it's going to be in my imagination for a while. Uh, but always, thanks for coming out. Thanks for watching. Take care. And we'll see you again.